cosmopolitan life in London. The late stream of workers flows towards the offices of leather merchants, dress manufacturers and filmmakers. As in other parts of London where the same trades and profession get together, Soho has its own business communities, one of the most noted being textiles. Quite early, the street markets get going again. Every morning, the flower stalls are dolled up afresh with choice blooms from Cotton Garden, and it's quite a business unloading them and making an attractive window show where there isn't any window. This trader has been doing just that all his life, and always on the same pitch. There's hardly anything portable you can't pick up in the markets. One of the busiest is Berwick Market, a narrow ribbon of street where you can buy nearly everything from a cabbage to a corn plaster. a dress length or a bit of curtaining, you will find both in great variety. Or if you want something to put on a horse, well, there are the very shirts. As with flowers, so the fruit and vegetables. While shops may have classier products, there's always a great show of the more homelier kind, such as these lovely ripe tomatoes. Shopping is at its height, and these stalls are doing a thriving trade with their aubergine, sweet peppers and chicken. Who'd like some morning gathered mushrooms? In and around the market streets you will find everything for a modest menu. And you need never go short of garlic.